Earlier this year, the Raspberry Pi Foundation introduced a new high-quality camera. This camera module is meant to be integrated into Raspberry Pi projects along with a C or CS mount lens for photo, video, and scientific work. For a long time, there's been a camera module with two different versions, and I actually have a few of them. The basic camera module is good for projects where you need a cheap, tiny camera but don't need that much quality or flexibility. But the high-quality camera uses a much larger image sensor. It's 7.9 millimeters diagonal versus the camera module V2, which is 4.6 millimeters. It might not seem like a big difference, but the overall area on the sensor is three times larger. That, along with a newer generation Sony sensor and a C-mount, means you get a lot more performance out of a package that's less than double the cost of the original camera module. The newer sensor also provides a little more dynamic range, so video shots like this one in my backyard don't end up really muddy with all the highlights blown out and all the dark parts turning black. But how good is the HQ camera? Well, you be the judge of that. So far, everything you've seen in this video has been recorded on my HQ camera attached to a Raspberry Pi 4. Pretty good, right? Since it uses the C-mount, you can easily mount the HQ camera in places where the camera module was awkward at best. I have an adapter that lets me mount it to my Nikon F-mount lenses, and another adapter that lets me mount it to my T-mount Celestron telescope. If you want to get any of these adapters, I have links to them in the description. I also bought a Tamron F1.4 8mm lens for the camera, which I'm using in this video. The Pi Foundation has official lenses for the HQ camera, but you can buy any C or CS mount lens, and they should work out of the box. If you want to adapt larger lenses like my Nikon F mount lenses, you have to realize the crop factor on the 7.9mm sensor is 5.5 times, meaning a 35mm lens will be cropped so it looks more like a 200mm lens. The widest wide-angle lens I have for my Nikon is a 14mm, and that would be like a 77mm lens on this sensor. This does mean that you can get a lot more reach if you have a good zoom lens, though. My 200mm lens becomes 1100mm, letting me zoom in quite a bit on any distant objects. One downside to lenses built for the C-mount is that smaller lenses made for small image sensors and security cameras tend to be a little lower quality. And just like with the camera module, there's no autofocus. That is, unless you're willing to spend hundreds of dollars on specialized lenses built for industrial equipment. There are some creative folks building the HQ camera module into some crazy contraptions that make it work a little more like a traditional camera or make lenses autofocus, but it's not what I'd call practical. Overall, the HQ camera is not a great replacement for a typical handheld photo or video camera, but what is it good for? Obviously, it can make pretty good quality video like the one you're watching, but is it any good for astrophotography, for nature video streaming, for walking around and taking pictures? Well, that's something I've been exploring the past few weeks, and I'm going to keep exploring it. This video is a quick introduction to the HQ camera, and I'll be posting a few more videos in the coming months in this HQ camera series to cover some different ways you can use it, and maybe some ways that you shouldn't. So, subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss any of these videos, and until next time, I'm Jeff Gearling.